Hey guys, Jesse here back with another video and today we're talking about the importance of your Instagram bio. More specifically, we'll be talking about how to craft one that will further the effectiveness of your social media strategy. Your business's Instagram bio needs to convey what your business does and do it quickly. You might want to consider even focusing your bio on how you add value to your potential customer and give them that little bit extra incentive to follow. After putting some thought into your bio, the first thing I really want to talk about is actually the name field. Most people and most businesses usually just put whatever their company name is in this part of their bio, but it's actually a huge missed opportunity because this part of your bio is searchable within Instagram. So if your name of your company is your Instagram handle, then you don't need to do that because your Instagram handle is already searchable. To fully optimize your bio, you can actually put strategic keywords in your name field. What that allows customers to do is if they're searching Instagram for specific things or something that your company offers, then they might come across your Instagram account and your business first. A great example of this is a local company called Revive Washing and they do a really great job of putting strategic keywords that their customers might be searching for in their name field of their Instagram bio. Somebody looking for gutter or window cleaning might not exactly search revive washing, but when they search gutter or window cleaning, their company still might show up in the Instagram search. Putting in highly relevant keywords will make your company just that much easier to find when people are searching for services on Instagram. Another great way to establish your company with your bio is to add clickable usernames and hashtags. Mentioning usernames in your bio can be helpful if you have a new sub-brand or another branch that you want to direct current followers to that will help provide legitimacy. A big company like Adidas can put at Adidas Snowboarding in their bio to help legitimize it and also just direct current followers over there. Putting a username in your bio can also be helpful for mentioning maybe the founder. If they have a large following already, they can help legitimize the company further. For mentioning hashtags, um, they're really great for mentioning maybe your branded hashtag or even just relevant hashtags to your business. Unfortunately, unlike the, the name field, hashtags in your bio aren't searchable. So when you're putting a hashtag in your bio, your account won't show up when people are searching for that hashtag. However, people can still click on them and search on that hashtag. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Oso exclusive link in bio. Unfortunately, everybody gets only one link in their bio. However, this can actually be a good thing because it forces everyone to have that link fully optimized. A lot of people just link their main website or homepage and you know, that's a safe bet, but there are actually better ways to get more creative with it. You can even use the last line in your bio to give context or a description of what the link in your bio is for. For example, the Garibaldi at Squamish page um, tells its users that if you click the link in the bio, it'll direct them to a survey link. Maybe you are running a giveaway and the giveaway is linked in your bio and you want people to know what that link is for. Um, using the last lines of your bio to describe, hey, click this link for entering our giveaway. That's another great way. These are only a couple quick ideas, but I'm sure you can adapt it to fit your needs. Lastly, while not technically a part of your Instagram bio, using story highlights in a creative way can really add to someone's experience checking out your page. Take a look at Ergogenics Instagram. Their story highlights, there's a bunch of them, and they quickly help you understand what they are about and what they're offering you through their Instagram. You can quickly see what products they offer, smoothie recipes, events they've been a part of, influencers they're connected to, and more. This is great because it lets whoever's checking out the page know that they're active, that they're providing value constantly, and that they're a page worth following. With these tips behind us, you might start to see that there's a little more to your Instagram bio than you originally thought. Using every single feature that Instagram offers to fully optimize your page and to engage potential followers isn't very hard. It just takes a little bit more time and effort. With all that said, maybe go take a quick look at your business's Instagram bio to see if you can make any improvements. If you have any further questions or want to connect, you can always find us at, at Toth Media on any social media or at our website, tothmedia.ca. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.